the first step is to take your dual gang potentiometer and straighten out these little legs on it. Just pinch them flat with a pair of pliers. Then you can take the board and from either side, it doesn't matter, you can put the potentiometer into it. The potentiometer legs go into these holes here. Then making sure that the board is pressed flat to the bottom of the pot, you want to bend over these two little tabs so they grab onto the board. Now don't solder that in just yet, put that to the side. Now you want to get two sets of three pin male headers. I colour code my pots so you can easily tell which ones are which value at a glance and I've made a colour code chart that you can download below for your own use. Just snap these off and what you could do is insert them into the board from this side and solder them on the top here but I prefer to do it a different way. If you grab the pin headers from this side with a pair of pliers put it down on a metal surface and give it a nice push so that the plastic bit slides all the way down to the other side and do that with both of them and now you can go ahead and on the back side of the potentiometer insert one of these headers through from this side. Now you'll have to push the pot this way a bit so it makes room for the header. That's why we haven't soldered it in yet. Just have to slide it along a bit and that will make enough of a gap for the header to slide on down the back. So now you want to solder in all of these pins, leaving the last header for now. Make sure that the header is pushed all the way flush to the board. Once those are all soldered in, you can cut off the extra little bits on the pot legs. And then you can go ahead and insert the last header, making sure that it is pushed all the way flush to the board and solder that in as well. Now just double check that you haven't bridged any of the solder pads. So these three pins are connected to these outer ones and these three pins are connected to the ones on the inside. And you want to be inserting it into the breadboard like this so that each channel of the potentiometer is isolated from the other. Yeah. 